first of all, your dress is perfect and gorgeous. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a Marc Jacobs dress. I, I, when I saw it, I was like, this is it. This is what you have to wear, especially for your character, Violet. It's just, she's a little crazy. She's so, she's so big and so full of life, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> It's funny because I think she's actually good for Jason in this weird, twisted way. How do you? How did you feel going into this character and that relationship? Well, I think you know. I think she uh, she really stands for what she believes, and she's. Uh, I think she's a strong woman, and she's obviously she's been around for 800 years, so she's seen it all, and she knows how men work. So for her, um, you know, with Jason, someone that women are so crazy about, she knows how to not give in to it and have kind of tame him exactly have a full control of it. I mean like think about it as a woman wouldn't you want to enjoy someone for six months and be like there's nothing that you're gonna get in the back <laughs> you know I'm like it's great it, things change maybe <laughs> how is it working with Ryan Quantine and all those oh my god he's uh, he's a dream to work with he's just such a kind loving human being and so giving and um, and he just makes you feel comfortable and a part of, and I can't, I just can't say enough wonderful things about him. He's a, he's a dream. This whole cast seems really great. Whenever I ask somebody, you know, what's kind of the best memory you've had on set, it's just usually hanging out with the cast. Is there a moment for you that's been... It would be the same thing. It's a cast and crew. We just laugh and we're, you know, we're just constantly joking and, and, you know, when we have our fangs in, we do stupid faces and like, you know, it's just like, it's fun. It's just a lot of fun. Everyone's really supportive and, uh... And it's rare, it's really rare to find that. Do you have any fun like bloopers during any of those kind of intimate scenes? Not during intimate scenes, but I did have one where uh, I tried to go uh, save someone and as we we're about to go save them, I, uh, I fall. I just literally trip and you see me just like flying through the air trying. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> now, now with you know, is, is Violet kind of in danger now with the, you know, all the vampires kind of getting this HPV? I think all the vampires are. Not just Violet, right? I think everybody is, and uh, that's what makes this season really exciting. Because it's, uh, everybody's in danger. So I, I think, every, like, watching it, you're on edge of your seat, because you're like, what's going to happen? I cannot wait to see it. What, do you, what upcoming projects do you have? Right now, I don't. So I'm back trying to... Back to the grind of things. <laughs> because, uh, you guys aren't finished filming yet. Yeah, no, though. not yet. Almost. It's very, very close, unfortunately. Well, and then have you heard about the True Blood musical coming up? Uh, the yeah. music composer is making a True Blood musical. Really? I was allowed to ask about that. Yeah. Really? I had no idea. Are you, are you, Wait, do you have I musical talent? Ask me to come. I'll be like ready to a little dance with my fangs out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was telling him, like, I think Stephen Moyer for sure, you know. I mean, that guy can sing. I Did you see him in Chicago at the Hollywood I Hall? did, actually. He, I, he did amazing. a little, like, um, nod to True Blood fans, too. He was amazing. Like, not me. I cannot sing. But he's he was, yeah. He'd be great in the musical. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see the season. Great, great. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.